Hi, everybody. First, I want to thank everybody who has uh, subscribed to my channel. It's been really awesome. Ever since the this whole thing with YouTube came out and we're all getting together, all the YouTubers are, well, most YouTubers are getting together and trying to lift everyone else up. That's really great. Um, my channel's really small. I just started. I have, I don't think I'm going to reach any goals this time, but it's just great to to be in on it. I've, I've gotten lots of subscriptions and it's great. And I just want to, and I haven't uploaded a, a video since last year. <laughs> so I think it's about time. Uh, just been busy doing this and that and just uh, lazy actually. So today's video is going to be about using cheap, 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 cheap stuff that, uh, you don't need a lot of money or a lot of expensive products to 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 do art. So with that in mind, we're gonna start with uh, kid markers. Now these kid markers, I call them kids markers because they're they're really cheap. They come in big packs and they cost about to, no more than ten bucks for for like a pack of fifty or so. And uh, I have a collection here that I bought, plus some that uh, my nephew gave me years ago. Uh, he's, he's grown up. He doesn't use these markers anymore. So, and I like to doodle with them. I doodle a lot, and especially when I'm watching TV, I sit there and, and I just, you know, I, I color with different... I tried the different colors. If I don't feel like doodling anything, I just color, 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 color to cover the page. Um, yeah, sometimes I doodle. Let's see. I doodle. So what I recently realized, these are water soluble. They're like... Uh, water paints in a marker and it doesn't matter if they dry on the paper as soon as you get them wet again they reactivate and all the colors are really really bright now the only thing I do not recommend you take this out in the Sun it will fade away but just to play on your journal this is fun, 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 fun. There's a purple one. And then I'm gonna color some more. Now this one's starting to run out. A little dry. And I just pick different ones. Just here and there. All right, so you get what I mean. You can do whatever you want. You can you can scribble with them. You can just uh, color solid blocks. You can make it messy. You can make it neat. It doesn't matter. In the end, you're gonna do one thing, and that is reactivate them with water. Now you can take a wet brush and do this. And reactivate them or you could do like I do and just take a spray bottle of water and mist and then kind of play around with it a little bit not too much you don't want to make mud but you really should have a little bit more but they smear, they smear like a watercolor paper. Okay, then you're gonna end up with something like this. Now, this is a lovely background to something, 
but like I said, uh, these markers, they reactivate with water. So whatever you're going to put on top, if it's wet, it's going to mix. So what I do is I, I spray seal them. Now what I've used in, in the past, I have used this one, the uh, Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover Matte Clear. I uh, ran out of this. I got, this is the Hobby Lobby brand, the Treehouse uh, Studio Clear Acrylic Matte Coating. And this one's $5.99, which is about the cheapest you can find in spray paints. And I like this one a lot because this, the smell is not quite as strong. This one's got a strong smell. But any um, clear matte spray would do and you just do a very light outside and then let it dry really good and it's not going to reactivate it's, it's solid in there now these these didn't uh merge because this was a highlighter that i put on there but that's okay still all right so that's one first tip cheap 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 markers don't need to spend a lot of money my book is uh, mixed media, mixed media, the XL Canson, 11 by 14, 98 pound paper, or it could be any kind of paper really with these little markers. Next thing, here I have my palette. My palette. It's a plastic sheet um, that I got at the dollar store. They're they're called cutting mats. They they sell them in the in the kitchen gadget section, and there's two for a pack, one dollar. Great for using as a palette for paint. So one dollar Dollar Tree mat, Dollar Tree uh, rubber scraper. I might use this, I don't know. You could also use a credit card, um, an old gift card. But I bought this, it came as a set of three for a dollar at the dollar store. And I like this better than the credit card because it has a handle on it. And it does the same thing. And dollar store brush. These, they're called um, disposable brushes. But... I've used them many times. And my favorite thing to use is this this brush. This is called a chubby brush. <laughs> and it's from Art Blast, I believe. And it comes in the like in the aisle with all the kids' paints and finger paints, Crayola colors and things like that. And what it is is a very stiff but soft round brush, kind of flat. And it makes an excellent brush for stenciling. It's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some marks on top of this and see what we could come up with. Um, let's see. First thing first, I'm gonna my paints. My paints are either folk art. They're all gonna be folk art craft paints or the Anita Anita's acrylic paints, and then I have the apple barrel. And I'll put a list of all the colors I used on this. Now, what I'm going to do is something I learned from Shannon Green, which is really cool. And I think I should, should put something white behind this so you can see it better. This is a an empty canvas. Now, all this all this is 11 by 14. The sheet's 11 by 14, which is really convenient. I'm going to make... A rainbow all right and I'm gonna start with yellow let's we'll start with yellow this is uh, Anita's all-purpose acrylic I got this at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 eight full ounces I got it on sale for 30% off which was cool bright yellow so what I'm gonna do let's see I'm gonna start right here I'll put yellow in the middle like so and then from the middle out, 
uh, colors that play well together. This is a uh, folk art apple orchard. Right there. And then I have Apple Barrels Caribbean Caribbean Blue. This is one of my favorites to play with. Oh Lord. This is a new one and it's still closed. Ah. Forgive me, I thought I had opened up all my paints. I don't edit my videos. I try to keep them as short as possible by preparing ahead of time for everything. And that includes taking all these things off, which I didn't do. But that's good enough for now. Now, some boring parts, you can, you're welcome to fast forward it yourself. One day I'm going to learn how to do all that. And my, my videos would be like so, so professional. But right now they're not. And I just like teaching. And I like to be a part of the groups of people that create videos for YouTube. The, the creators of different arts and crafts are, are just awesome folks. Alright, here we have, this is Cobalt Blue. And then we have the, the Caribbean Blue, which is like a light blue. Uh, that limey green. On this side, I'm going to start with orange. Kind of creating a, a... Ooh, that was icky. How did that happen? My paint was separating in there. Now, I like... As far as uh, craft paints go, buy the best you can afford the most expensive craft paints that i've come across is the folk art brand and they're not really expensive this is a dollar 37 at hobby lobby and i usually get a bunch of them when they're 30 percent off and but they're a little bit better quality than some this one this one needs to shake up a little bit i'm gonna stick it upside down all right we have that one I have, this is a hot pink. This is a bright pink by Folk Art. Bright pink by Folk Art. And it's going to go right here. And then we're going to have, let's see, I'm going to do this lavender. A lavender right here. Lavender. And purple. No, I'm not going to do the purple. I'm going to do the red. All right, so here I have a rainbow of craft paints. Now, if you don't have craft paints, you can even go cheaper than that. You can try the kids' uh, temper paints. That's these right here. These are pretty cool to play with. Um... If you just want to do stuff for yourself on a journal, these are great. The only problem with these are they water activate once they're dry. Uh, so because they're made for kids, you know, and they don't want that permanent. But if you use a clear matte spray like I have, it actually works pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put a little more of this bright green over here. All right, there. Okay, I'm gonna take my spatula or scraper, putty knife, whatever you want to call it, or you could take your your credit card and do this also. But I, I, I'd like to have something with a handle, a little more control. Now I'm gonna put it on top of the paint. I'm gonna squish it down a little bit and just glide down. I'm gonna clean this off. I should have my papers. Yeah, Shannon says, I always keep a paper 
next to you that you can wipe your stuff off. I like to use nice, clean copy paper. She uses whatever she can find. It's up to you. You could do that on a piece of magazine, magazine paper, or whatever. So I clean my brush so it doesn't contaminate the other colors. And I'm going to start over here and just kind of press down a little bit, give it some pressure, and then gently slide it down. And press down and slightly down. Voila. And then get this out of the way. Already checked with the camera. And this is about as far as you can see right here. So I'm going to clean a spatula on the paper. And then eventually this is going to get covered up with a lot of stuff. So back again on this side. Squish it down. And pull. Now, how cool is that? Isn't that pretty just by itself? got a rainbow stamp this is going to be my my ink pad for a lot of goodies I'm gonna put this here hopefully you can see it now what am I going to stamp with I'll tell you what you're going to stamp with I have a tray here full of stuff. First, a lid. Okay. Yep. This is a plain everyday lid. But no, let me try something else first. Ah, this, one of my favorites. It's a spool of thread. This is an old ancient spool of thread from back in the 80s, I think, because I don't think they make that design anymore, but the new ones have their own little designs, anything that has a design. So you take this and you push it down on your paper, see, the paint, and you stamp. How cool is that? <laughs> and then you try again. Oh, this one's a little bit. I have that a little bit too much. Now these colors are not showing up too much against this background, but that's okay. Because we're going to do a lot of stamping. And this is mostly I'm hitting the purple and the hot pink. Okay? So let's see, I'm going to get my extra paper here and, and just clean it off see right there you can see how how cool it makes now I'm gonna move over here and pick up some of this blue and Caribbean blue and uh, maybe stamp over here now I'm not pressing too hard because there's so much glue I picked out and then I'm pressing harder Aha. Now who needs a jelly plate when you can play like that? Hmm? And now I'm going to pick up some orange and yellow. And some orange and yellow. Let's put it over here. All right. Lovely. Well, there you get your just it's a spool of thread. Spool of thread. Picked up. Now, my next goodie. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. These. I forget what you call these. These are those plastic things that kids buy and they, they paint the inside of them. They're called. Well, this one just says butterflies. 
And there, th th this whole thing it was like 68 cents I got at Hobby Lobby in the kids' crafts department. And uh, it's it's raised plastic, and, and you color the inside, and you make it look, then you look at it this way, and you hang it up. So you hang it up like this, and it makes a, um, you know, a, a glass, like a stained glass looking thing is for kids. But they make excellent stamps. Check this out. I'm gonna take this and I'll put it with the, the red over here on this side. And the only problem is, is trying to pick it up. I should have put a backing to it. Just make sure it all gets covered up. And then, ew. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp it right there. And you might, something this big, you're gonna need a, a little extra pressure. So even with your fingers, like that, and voila, that's cute. I like that, I like that a lot. Look at that big old thing. And so you can see it better. I'm going to stamp it on my white paper. Let's see, about right here. And I'm just going to press it down. Voila. That's pardy. I like that. And I got another one. I have several. I have another big one like that. It's got full of flowers. Now I can't find it. Well, anyway, you, you, you get the idea. I also have, um, I don't know if you can tell what that is. It's an octopus. This, this came in a little kit. An octopus. Two different fish. Okay. Same thing, I'm gonna put the op octopus right here in the blue area. Now I glued or taped down a piece of cardboard on the top so it's easier to pick up. And here we go, we're gonna put the octopus right here. And these of course are a lot easier to manage. what the octopus looks like a little better I'll put right here tada octopus he's so cute this I don't know if you recognize this or not it's a little cap that comes in the solid uh, underarm deodorant when you first open it up and it's brand new. And uh, to push it up, this little thing is actually covering it. What a cool stamp, huh? So I'm gonna do this one in the blue. And it's gonna make ovals. Now, this is something that you would normally throw in the trash. I don't think, I never keep mine to, to cover the deodorant. Just the regular plastic top that comes with it is good enough for me. So, look how neat. Cute ovals. Really nice ovals. 
And I'll put some here. So you can see it better in the white. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Oh, I haven't tried this one yet. This came, this is a little plastic piece. It came out of a razor, a disposable razor, you know, a little plastic sleeve that that uh, is, it covers the, the actual blade. And, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got uh, arrows on it. Let me see if, if it does anything. I'm going to try this one out. but still makes an interesting mark. And then you have this side that's like a, like a letter C. Oh, I like that, that's a good mark. With the red, yeah. Go make some more. I like this and it's easy to hold it's little I'll put it this way too <laughs> does it look like I'm having fun I am having fun this is fun this is kid stuff things you could do with your own kids actually tell you what my mom and dad never were never rich definitely far from it but one thing that did encourage me is my art. If I'm not a big famous artist now, at the age of 53, it's all my own fault for not really having the confidence in myself. Had we had YouTube when I was a kid, oh, things would be a lot different. <laughs> yes, indeed. Things would be a lot different now. I like that. Very interesting. Okay. So we got that. Oh, so what other goodies I have? What other goodies I have? Oh, this. Okay, you know that those uh, foam, double stick foam tape? And then you can buy the sheets with the circles in them and you pull them out the little dots. And uh, to, to raise, well, that's what this is. The sheet without the dots. This is what's left behind of the dots. And I glued this to a piece of plastic that I happen to have around. Or you could do it with, um, you could do it with cardboard too. So I'm going to put this one here. Now I have a lot of paint. I put a lot of paint on here. So I have paint for days. I'm going to do stuff until I run out of paint. Maybe not all on this paper, but I, I just can't waste that. I really like the way that did it. So here, I'm going to make these dots. Oh, and that just fell. <laughs> okay, where, 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 where can I go? Where can I go? How about right here. I like that. I like how it covers some of the the, the colors around it and, and just leaves the holes open. And you can see like you can see part of the, the octopus through there. Okay, and I'm gonna put some here on the edge. Because it's starting to look Okay. <laughs> Cover up a butterfly. 
when you do stuff like this, don't worry about covering up things. Because eventually you're going to have so much. What we're going to do with this, you're not going to remember what was underneath. All you're going to see is parts, fractions of, of what you've done. This is what it's uh, called intuitive abstract that I have recently discovered. It looks so easy, but sometimes, actually it is easy. The secret to intuitive abstract, to, to having this many colors on one paper, is to let the layers dry in between and um, mix colors that get along well together. Now, I like that. I also want to make some marks in black. But for right now, this needs to dry. <clears throat> in this part, you, this is the part I'm talking about. Just, you know, just, just stick your finger there at the bottom of, of, of the video right there, you know, like right there, and just move your finger over and, and just let it uh, just fast forward. needs to dry a little bit longer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna show you a few other things that you could do mm -hmm. oh, bear with me here all right this is the one that I was using to stamp on I'm gonna grab some more paper and I'm, I'm going to use this. This is a, um, this is just a canvas panel. It's still wrapped in plastic. So I'm not worried about getting it dirty. I'm just going to use it as a background so you can see it better. I'm going to get some more papers. I've got some more papers here. I'm trying to find my other stamp. What did I do with it? It is here. I've got a box full of goodies here. Let's see. Where is it? Sometimes I sit and watch all of everybody's videos, and they're so amazing. And I watch everything they have. Everything I have. Oh, look at this. This is this is a Christmas uh, placement. Okay, it's, it's just a, a rubber poinsettia. And um, so after Christmas, this went to 80% off or 90% off. So I bought it and I cut a little piece out of it. Stencil. Cool. I'm we'll gonna try that. That one too. Let's see, there's everything. I never buy anything full price. Let me tell you. Never buy anything full price. 
Hobby Lobby, Michaels, they always have coupons and sales. Get to those. They price things because they anticipate that coupon sale. Um, here's another stamp that I use a lot. This is, um, this held my uh, earphones for my iPhone. When I got my iPhone, and uh, last year I got a new iPhone and it came with the earphones and it was in this little case with a little plastic top and I thought, oh, that's so cute. And it makes a wonderful stamp. That too. Oh, here, so this is the piece. I like this one better. Of the, the red poinsettia. Plastic red poinsettia. Yep. Okay. Oh, my other one is not in here. There. Now, if I'm boring you through all this, because I'm not making any art in front of you right now. Like I said, fast forward, please, fast forward. Yay! And I still can't find it. <sighs> well, I can't find it, but I have. I have proof that I have it. See, it makes that design. And here's my butterfly. And it makes that design. And this one, I kind of did it like the, the rainbow thing I have going here. But I did it, didn't put like globs. I just uh, put little dots of paint and just scraped them down. This is a cute page. And then I stamped in black. Um, this one I did some bolder colors and then that with and here are some of the fish and this is just a mess I made but I think it looks cool to I don't know just I, I just love playing around sometimes I'm not some days I'm just not into it that much I don't uh, have any grandiose ideas or anything so I just play around all right, so while my other piece is drying, let's play with this some more. Now, as you see, this got like a little wonky there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna respray it, spread it, and be, but before I do that, I'm gonna just lightly mist it with some water because it's gonna dry. And here we go. I'm gonna do the same thing again, kind of squish it down and slide down the green. And I'm gonna put it there and then squish this one down and slide down that. Yeah, it's not as fresh anymore. That's why it needs to be, you need to keep, I may have done a little bit too much paint on here. But that's okay because it's cheap paint. And then I'm going to mist it with water one more time so it doesn't dry up on me. Okay. Now, this, this is my um, plastic Christmas poinsettia placement. Yeah, cut it up. And my kid's brush. And I don't know how much these are. Uh, they come like in three in a pack or so or more with the in, down the Crayola aisle uh, with all the kids finger paints and stuff but I inherited this one and I really love it and what I'm gonna do is uh, let's see I'm gonna put some green on it so I'm gonna pick up some green paint and Use this as a stencil. Now, first I stamp it up and down like this. Then the stencil starts to dry up. I mean, the, the, the brush starts to dry up. When it's dry, then you can do this with it. Everybody uses... Uh, 
A lot, a lot of YouTubers use a cosmetic sponge. Those little wedges. I tried those. I just, I don't like them. It gets my fingers all up in there, and it's just. This is so much easier. See. And then you take what's left over on top and go like this. And smash it. But I don't think I have anything. No, because. This is also, using the brush like this, turning it, also it cleans the top of the stencil. So you don't have a smudge paint build up. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some more green. Once I get rid of the, the, the large amount, it's gonna go over here. Oh, and it moved, so I'm gonna stop on that one. And try to clean off the rest of this brush. Right there. See? And then, what else? Oh yeah, I just bought this thing here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I lost something else. Here it is, here it is, here it is. This. This is called a plastic canvas. Okay, it's used to do embroidery work with yarn and other fibers. And you can find it in the yarn department or wherever there's a needlepoint department. And this little circle cost me 49 cents at Hobby Lobby. And it's a great thing. Let's see. These are very tiny. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do a dark color. I'm going to do this blue. Let's see how well it goes through. And just a little bit. It might not go through very well. This might be better for a spray. Let me see how it works. Well, you just dig in. Now see, a sponge couldn't do that. The bristles are actually going into the holes and digging in. I like that. And then... Oh, I like that even better. I don't know if you can see that. How cool is that? Let me see. I'm going to stick this here like a stamp. like that okay this is a winner most definitely a winner I like this I like it a lot I like it more of a stamp than a stencil yes yes okay like one side is flat I think and the other side has like a round each each section is has an, a dome let me see if it does the same thing on this side I'm gonna stamp the opposite side might give me a different no nope. looks just as cool beans this is a keeper I like this a lot now since I did that I wonder if this thing would stamp different okay I'm gonna go with the more red and purple Ooh, a little bit too much paint I might have too much paint on this got it on my fingers it's all right I'll put it right here and just kind of push it down. I like that too. Totally cool. Totally cool. Now, you might wonder, what are you going to do with that paper? It's full of stuff. Now I'm going to show you what, what this does. Uh, oh, and this, I'm just going to
get rid of that paint. Cut my fingers. This. I thought I had lavender on there. Yeah, I do. Okay, this, like I said, this was the ear earphones. Yeah. I'll put it down on my paint. This makes a cool, solid design. Now, all these stamps you can use with ink, regular ink, and you're going to get a sharper image, I'm sure, with regular ink. I haven't tried all of them with ink because I kind of like the way I can get this messy look, messy, colorful look instead. And let's see more contrasting color for here. There we go. I like that. And here I have a little bit more left on here. Yeah. So that's this thing. What else? What else can I show you? These are um, plastic caps to gallons of bottled water. And if you, I don't know if you can tell, they, they have two rings, an inner ring and an outer ring. And these make really cool stamps too. Let's see something, I'm putting it on the red. Okay. I'm gonna stamp, of course you gotta dig in your fingers in the middle to get that middle ring going. Oh, that would make come out as queer. I'm going to put it over here. Let's see. All right. Yeah, you see it has, it has two, two rings, which is a little bit different than your typical circle. <laughs> Now, another good, cool stuff is um, the kids' foam. Kids' foam. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it comes, you can buy it in packs, different shapes. Oh, here's my stamp. Ah, oh, look at that. See, this is another one of those uh, stained glass sun catchers made out of plastic that you paint. And these were like 68 cents. That's where that paint came out of. But that I used black paint for that. So anyway, I'm, I'm not going to do that now. You have the, the play phone, the craft phone. And you get little shapes out of it and things. And, and this is a, a foam heart. Now, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of cruddy with, with the paint. But you can, if you can glue it to something, now I glue it to the back of this bottle cap bottle top just to make a stamp there and I took one of those credit cards to send you in the mail like uh you know the, the pretend cards are not really real cards but and and I these I cut out of a styrofoam plate okay the bottom of the styrofoam plate I just cut it out and with a pencil I went in and drew some veins to make leaves so I'm hoping this works I haven't tried this one I don't think Let's see, we're gonna try this one right here. And this is probably gonna be messy. Ah, this, this, the leaves came out good. I just, I need a better thing to glue it on. Yeah, the leaves came out good. Now, I'm gonna move this so you probably can't see how the leaves look. 
and I'll put it here. There, see? I like that. I'm gonna do some more green. I like my leaves. Of course, it leaves that on there, but that's okay. It's part of the thing. It's part of the whole thing. Okay. This is the inside of, um, it's, it's the inside of the receipt paper from a register. That I work on and whenever I run out of receipt paper I have to change them out but I like the inside because it's plastic and it has these uh, neat design on it so I'm gonna show you like that okay this is a rubber washer that you would get in the plumbing section at a hardware store and this is one of those uh, little plastic I'm not wooden doodad knob things that you could get at the craft store I happen to find this one in my stash of junk supplies and and I found this washer and I glued it and the washer is made out of rubber so it makes an excellent stamp and you just have another circle of a different design. Because I have my rainbow ink stamp, I'm constantly changing colors. Voila. Okay, another thing before I'm done, and I'm going to have to make this a two-putter, because I think this one's already going almost an hour. You can use a credit card, like I said. Uh, I do have a gift card here, so I can show you. If you don't have one of these, you, you probably would have one of these. And you just... You can dip the edge and make lines. Okay, or this, and this is one of the coolest things. You see this? You take your credit card, your card, whatever, and you scrape up three colors or more and then you slide them on here try to use colors to go well together you know like the uh, the blues greens yellow and then you can switch to the orange pink red and the purple actually is kind of like in between somewhere but yellow and orange and pink, wonderful colors. And I kind of like the way this is, so I'm going to go to a new page. Okay, this one started to dry up a little bit. It's the one I did earlier. And make an actual rainbow. And then you can start going crazy with it and go like this way and there you go 
rainbow papers. That's Shannon Green's design, by the way. Or at least I think it is. But that's who I learned it from. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Washing. Wa watching. <laughs> this looks like it's dry. Uh, maybe not exactly dry, dry. But my next step is going to be in the next video. And I'll see you there. Bye.